actor Brian Austin Green on life as a new dad. The science behind love at first sight, what to wear to a winter wedding. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Michelle Yarn. It is Blackberry versus iPhone. <laughs> that battle has been going on since 2007 with little end in sight. Turns out, though, there is a clear winner when it comes to your health. iPhone wins. Allergists studied popular smartphones for two common allergens, cobalt and nickel. One third of all Blackberries contain nickel, but neither cobalt nor nickel was detected on iPhones or droids. Both metals can cause an allergic reaction, including dry, itchy patches along the cheek bones, uh. the jawline, and those ears. These metals are commonly used in jewelry, coins, and even makeup. Nickel is one of the most common contact allergens affecting 17% of women and 3% of men. If you have an allergy and don't want to give up your Blackberry, use a wireless earpiece in a protective case. Love at first sight. Is it real or made up? Well, romantic comedies say yes, it's real, and science agrees it is the real deal. Researchers in Ireland have determined a certain area of your brain makes a snap judgment about physical attraction within seconds of seeing a new face, whether that's in person or from a picture. 63% of the time, a person's initial interest in dating someone just from a photograph was backed up by their real-life interaction. 10 to 20% of those people exchanged phone numbers. So you can look at the results two ways. One, we're shy because we instantly judge someone by their physical appearance. <laughs> and two, where does our compatibility factor in when it comes to the attraction phase? Both are happening in your head as you make those initial decisions. So, Andrea, do you believe in love at first sight? The hopeless romantic in me wants to believe in love at first sight. <laughs> but and I just, wanting to and it actually being have, reality. Because oftentimes when you do have that instant attraction, that doesn't last. Yeah. So the, that's where the compatibility factor has to come in. Right. It's more yeah. like lust at first sight. Yeah, but you yeah. always want to have that little pitter patter of the heart. Oh, yeah, you need that. You're with. Yeah, because there is something to say about chemistry. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and it's a very elusive cat. It doesn't happen before That has everyone. to happen. The rest yeah, can grow. You exactly. Know? Yeah. What happened to the joy of sex, you might be asking? More women are feeling blue after sex instead of glowing. Scientists out of Australia found one in three women suffer from what they call post sex blues. Ooh. So rather than any afterglow, some women instead have feelings of melancholy, tearfulness, or irritability. But those emotions are not necessarily linked to how they feel about their partner. One woman surveyed said she felt blue after sex, but it had nothing to do with how she felt about her partner. Under normal circumstances, the moment just after sex elicits sensations of well-being along with psychological and physical relaxation. So why do some women experience this phenomenon? Researchers say the cause is unknown at this point and more studies are needed. The stacking bracelet trend is back on the it list and our friends at galtime.com are sharing their tips on how to pull off the look. First, get creative. Try different kinds combinations until you find something you like. Consider colors and shapes. Don't stack all the same size bracelets together. Instead, mix up thinner bangles with wider ones. Mm -hmm. Decorate just one wrist. Stacking bracelets is already a big statement, so there's no need to double up. <laughs> and mix distinctive styles. Have fun with mixing and matching. Why not have a fun girly piece stacked with a bohemian band? You can totally pull off the look. So bargain shoppers, when it comes to the discount stores, who wins in the Walmart versus Target versus Kmart competition? Ooh. Well, Walmart wins when it comes to the lowest prices and largest selection. But price isn't everything. Target's prices are a little higher, but they score big when it comes to the in-store shopping experience, design, and inventory. And Kmart's blue light has dimmed thanks to higher prices and limited inventory. So here's how the three rank when it comes to prices, customer service, and ambience. Walmart, lowest prices and a generous ad matching price policy, thousands of well-stocked super centers with a great grocery selection, and a user-friendly website with deals and free shipping. They also offer a wide variety of in-store services. Now for Target, fashionable clothing, definitely, and oh, home goods, love, love it. And there's a solid reputation there for quality, modest prices, clean and well-organized with helpful employees, and a great atmosphere for really easy shopping. And then for Kmart, highest prices, limited selection when it comes to inventory and services, inconsistent customer service, and stores is not quite as well organized as Target or Walmart. Well, when it comes to shopping, you can also find some fabulous fall bags on a budget, too. Lucky Magazine found several, and they're all under 50 bucks. This natural wonder satchel from FredFlair.com is your go-to everyday bag. The side-by-side -side neutrals mean there's nothing you can't wear with this one. Great for school and work. And who says you can't wear pink in the fall? This envelope clutch in power pink from KarmaLoop.com is begging for a pair of party heels to match, ladies. You'll look uber polished while rocking this Deanna and Ozzy hard shell cross 
Moss Body Pouch from Urban Outfitters. You can't go wrong with the black and cream combo either. And trade your white bag for this ivory one from Lulu's.com. It'll look extra elegant with camel coat. Your beach bag gets city ready for fall instead of bright colors. Use this Zara bag to tote for all your goodies. And the print really makes a standout statement. Yep. Well, the winter wedding season is here, and with it comes that moment of panic when you realize you have nothing to wear. But fear not, because we've got you covered with some great style ideas. Try adding lace. Lace overlay gives this dress, super cute, a romantic cute. touch. And the metal belt makes it modern. It's perfect for a daytime wedding or cocktail hour. You can add a cute jacket and tights, and you are all set. And also, never underestimate the versatility of a black blazer. Try pairing this gorgeous lace top and dress with a black blazer. You can add a chic metallic heel, and you are ready for wedding cocktails. And don't be afraid to bump up the sex appeal. Equal parts chic and sexy, this dress features a thigh-high slit and peplum, which is perfect for an evening wedding. When it comes to taking the plunge and exchanging I do's, women traditionally take the husband's last name, but a new trend has surfaced, and it involves couples merging their last names. We'll call it the Brangelina effect. It's really popular right now with newlyweds in their 20s and 30s in Europe, and you can count on the trend becoming popular stateside in 2013. The London Telegraph reports 800 hundred couples have merged their last names into a new combination surname. Call it the combo special, I guess. They prefer meshing the names to the double dash surname. Other couples choose to do it just to avoid squabbling over which name would get top billing in the hyphenated version. Though you'll probably never forget him as David Silver on Beverly Hills 90210, now you're going to love him as Tommy in the new comedy wedding band. Welcome actor Brian Austin Green. Hey, Brian. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Good, I'm loving the show. It just started, you have to tell us about it. It's a bit of a bromance thing happening there too, right? Well, it's <laughs> it's a band, you know? So yep. you've got, you, you have uh, these couple guys that grew up together and have been best friends for a while and um, at a much younger age were, had a band and tried getting a record deal and, you know, had one that fell through and probably had another one that fell through and at some point realized you know it's way more fun to play weddings and events um, it's always a packed house instead of having like 10 people at a local dive bar and everybody knows the words to all the songs yep. so you know they, they just realized that that was the way to go and they've not only embraced it, but they've really figured out um, how to be the best at it. Well, and it's funny, too, because I feel like every guy has this dream of being in a band and being successful at it. So, I mean, you're right, and at weddings, everyone's looking to have a good time. Yeah, oh, totally. Alcohol's free, <laughs> and uh, everyone is there to have a good time. Who's the best musician, though, out of all of you guys? <sighs> uh, Peter. Peter Camber. He plays lead guitar on the show, uh -huh. and um, he's... He's a real guitar player. He Not only does he play the guitar, he plays the banjo, which um, sounds really cool. I mean, the thought of like, oh yeah, I know somebody that plays the banjo, <laughs> until you're around them and you realize this sucks knowing somebody that plays the banjo because it's like living uh, in the country bear jamboree at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. So I have to mention this, you play a hard partying kind of bachelor on the show, but it's pretty different from real life, right? Especially with a new baby, I imagine. No, I'm pretty hard partying <laughs> and I still live as a bachelor. <laughs> just, Good time. just with kids, just with kids and a wife and uh, a bedtime of 930. Right, but hey, you but I still, them. I still throw down. I mean, listen, I, you know, <laughs> don't, don't underestimate me. I mean, I can, you know, milk in the daily show and I, I i can go a little crazy i gotta ask you this since we're talking weddings and wedding songs what's your all-time favorite wedding song and what's one you think should just be retired forever i think time of my life should be retired okay okay um and i think 99 problems is a is a good one 99 problems for the <laughs> that's that's a good new one. It's a good way to start just off a marriage. Sort of the the rate of divorce. Oh you my know? god! I just kind of feel like <laughs> if you go into it with the bar set low, uh, you won't. You'll you never won't be disappointed. Be so dis you won't ever be disappointed. Now yeah. we know you like to race cars too. I have to ask: Do you and your former 90210 co-star Jason Priestley ever race for pink slips? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think Jason's racing anymore. I think after his accident, he. Uh, he decided that he loved his family too much. Aww. So he's uh, 
he, he, he's, he's smart, he's a smart guy. I still haven't gotten there yet, unfortunately. So hopefully it won't take, you know, a bad accident to, uh, to pull me out of it. But yeah, no, no racing. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with collecting. You can always look at them, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, you well, should race he, Hot Wheels. That, that's the safe way yeah, to go. Exactly. Just set up a crazy Hot Wheels track and, and, you know, go for broke. See, there you go, living crazy like we talked about earlier. Living crazy. <laughs> Don't miss Brian on Wedding Band Saturday nights at 10 on TBS. Still more to come here on Life Love Shopping. <clears throat> Excuse me, actresses and models go on crash diets all the time. We'll look at the worst celebrity diets that's coming up. Plus, if you're a beauty product addict, we have got your must-have apps to keep you on trend. My career doesn't make me who I am. My, my family and my friends do. So, I, you know, for me now, it's all about, the, the legacy I leave is all about how people remember me, not so much what I've done. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Grab your iPhone, ladies, because we have rounded up the best beauty apps out there, like Color Genius for L'Oreal Paris. This free app is perfect for the gal who loves to color coordinate. You simply snap a picture of your favorite dress and find the polish and lipstick to match, blend, or clash even. You can even alter looks by day or night. If you're addicted to browsing through beauty photos for inspiration, then you will love the free Bloom Beauty Trends iPhone app. Browse skin care, hair, and more trends within this app including celebrity looks. You can also get inspiration from real beauty professionals and read their product recommendations. To get your makeup and nail art fix, the free Beautylish app is a must. You can brush up on your beauty skills with how-to tutorials, read ratings and reviews on thousands of products, and learn about the latest nail trends and tricks of the trade. Allure Magazine has been honoring the industry's top performing beauty products for 16 years now. And joining us this morning with the scoop for this year's big winners is Allure Magazine's associate editor, Sophia Panich. Good morning, Sophia. Morning, Michelle. How are you? Wonderful. I love this. I look forward to this every year, but there's so many products to choose from. So how do you guys choose the best ones? Oh my God. Well, we test over 2,500 products for six months. Whew. And it's not just us testing, we also consult experts. So dermatologists, cosmetic chemists, makeup artists and hairstylists, and they look at these products, they look at the clinical tests, the ingredients, and they really let us know if these are legit and they're gonna do what they say they do. So what were some of your favorite products from this year? Oh God, how do you choose? Well, I love this new mascara from CoverGirl. It's called Lash Blast Clump Crusher. We all know clumpy mascara is just inevitable, but CoverGirl's actually measured how big the average clump is and arranged the bristles on the brush so that it will never form. The clump will actually never form. So you can swipe this on a million times and it will never give you spidery lashes. Another great product is this Pantene Age Defy Thickening Treatment. Pantene actually put in anti-aging ingredients like niacinamide and panthenol that goes into the very inside of the hair to thicken it and expand it. And it actually has, you know, they tested it and it gives the illusion of 6,500 more strands, which is actually the average size of a ponytail, I think. So nice. pretty amazing. Nice. Anything else on that list? Oh yeah, I mean, we've got um, a new lip stain that is the glossiest lip stain you will ever put on your lips. And it's super long wearing. It's from Yves Saint Laurent, Glossy Lip Stain. We have a new anti-ager from Rock that uses retinol. It's a two-part system that actually enhances the retinol even more. So, you know, we've got so much, and not just breakthroughs. We've got a whole, two, over 200 products that I've also won awards in other categories that you can check awesome. out on Allure.com or on our issue. Thank you so much, Sophia. For more info on all those great products, log on to our website. Ever tried a diet that seemed too good to be true? Well, it probably was. Here are the red flags you should look out for when it comes to trying a new eating program. It's a total 180 from the way you currently eat. If it's not compatible with your lifestyle, the chances are slim that you will stick with it. It eliminates entire food groups. Most nutritionists will tell you there is no food you should avoid altogether. Diets forbidding all carbs, for example, tend to be impossible to stick to in the long run. It makes you hungry, grumpy, or worse weight loss is tough, but it shouldn't feel torturous. If the diet is playing havoc with your mood, you'll be more likely to fall into an emotional eating binge after a bad day at work or a fight with your spouse. Cooler temperatures making you sick? Well, here is a quick fix to kick that flu bug to the curb.
here's an interesting cold and flu fact for you. The average person gets sick three times a year, but mothers get sick up to seven times a year. That's practically every other month. So for you busy moms who are feeling run down with stuffy noses, sinus pressure, and more, there's contact cold and flu, which offers multi-symptom relief at the maximum strength without a prescription in day and night formulas. All contact cold and flu formulas are immediate release, maximum strength, and multi-symptom. For a $2 coupon, visit contact.com. With all the holiday parties mm -hmm. on your calendar, you could be going into crash diet mode. Jessica Reyes from our news partner, The Daily Buzz, is sharing the best and worst celeb spokespeople. Hey, Jess. Hello, and that's right, ladies. Some work, others don't. Let's start with Jennifer Hudson. We still remember her like this during her Dream Girls days, where we loved her confidence and how she represented full-figured women everywhere. But all that changed when Jay hud became the spokesperson for Weight Watchers. This soul-singing diva shocked the world when she dropped close to 100 LBs. Wow. The best part is she's managed to keep it off even after having a baby. Now up next is Mimi. She gained lots of weight while preggers with twins Ooh. Moroccan and Monroe. But the diva scored a deal with Jenny Craig and was able to get rid of most of the weight. But considering her ups and downs when it comes to weight, mm, she definitely is a risky investment because, you know, of her history. Hopefully her AI schedule allows her to keep that healthy eating on check. And then there's Kim Kardashian. Here's the reality show star at wow. her thinnest after shining up with Quick Trim. FYI, she's gained most of the weight back, yet still manages to look curvilicious and beautiful. And ladies, that's your buzz. Want more? Catch me weekday mornings on The Daily Buzz. Well, choosing the right time to give your teen a credit card, it's a tough well, decision. Yes, I'll say. <laughs> the best credit card advice when it comes to charging up your teen. That's next. My my wife and my kids. Yeah, well, that's yeah. an easy one. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a given. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Does your child take things for granted by not even knowing the meaning of thank you? Our partner site, GalTime, offers these tips to make sure gratitude is front and center. First off, spend one-on-one -on -one time with your child each day outside of homework and discipline. Focus on who they are, how they feel about things, and their aspirations. Also, model good manners and appreciation of others you come into contact with. They'll learn by example. And provide opportunities for service to others. Kids can see firsthand the gifts they've been given when they can compare it to those less fortunate. Also, accept your child's efforts at showing their appreciation. Too often, parents minimize a thank you, so give them credit for the smallest things, like giving you a drawing or even a hug. Children don't usually enjoy doing homework. The television, the computer, and friends tend to be a major distraction, but homework time is really important, and our Parenting Pro from GalTime.com explains why. Hi, I'm Dr. Ms. Dahl Borba. You know, homework can enhance not only your child's learning, but also essential skills they need to succeed in school, like organization, problem solving, goal setting, stick to itness. So here's a few strategies to help your child become a more successful and independent learner. Start by being clear with what the teacher's expectations are. What is she requiring of your child? Second, don't assume your child knows how to plan. Help your child learn to make a list each night of what needs to be done and in the order of priority, and then help him cross them off as each is done so all his assignments are completed. Then make sure you only offer help when it's really needed. When your child feels so overwhelmed, I can't do all of this, it's too much, tell him to chunk the task, which actually means divide the assignment into smaller parts. Just take that math paper and just do the first row, or fold it in half and just do the first half, then do the second half. If it still gets to be too difficult, then go back to the teacher and say, does he need a tutor? Realize, though, your role in homework is helper, not doer. And if you keep on with just the little uh, hints that I'm giving you, pretty soon what will happen is your child will become a more independent learner, and that's the goal. Teaching your children about using money wisely should also include credit card education, and timing is everything. Getting them credit card ready while they are teens can help develop responsible spending habits. So here's what you should do. Designate your child as a joint account holder or an authorized user on your credit card. That can help them build some good credit. Start by giving your child a credit or debit card with a specific credit limit, like say $500, and then designate its use for specific purchases. Another option, give your child a card they can use for whatever they want, 
but they're responsible for paying off the card with their own money. And think of this as a great learning experience. By sitting down with your kids on a monthly basis and reviewing the credit card bills, you can discuss what's been spent and then talk about how it's going to be paid off. Just know it's risky when you're giving your teen a credit card, but if you can develop really good habits early on, they won't get caught in the credit card trap in college, oh, which yeah. so many do. That happened to me. You're yep. walking the class and they're right there and they say, hey, just sign up. It's really easy. And then all of a sudden I've got free dinner and drinks, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> right, exactly. It builds up. It's only $20 a month. Okay, yeah, sure. No problem. You, if you're paying that minimum. Right. Well, coming up tomorrow on Life Love Shopping in the fashion world, one day you're in, the next day you are out. We're introducing you to a nine-year-old girl who is taking a fresh take on fashion and sharing it with the world. And here at Life Love Shopping, you know, we always want to connect with you. So when we aren't on TV, you can stay in touch with us by liking our Facebook page. You can also follow and tweet us on Twitter. We are at Life Love Shopping. That does it for Life Love Shopping today. Thank you so much for joining us. Brian Austin Green was quite a trooper. Yeah, he was a great interview, and he had so much to say, and he was very excited about his new family, too. Yeah, yeah and his beautiful wife. Yeah, Megan Fox. Oh, and she's guest starring on the show Wedding Band, by the way, and it should be coming up in the next episode or two, oh, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that very one. Very good. <laughs> well, a big thank you for him for to him yes. for joining us this morning. Be good, everybody. Bye -bye. We'll see you tomorrow. I, I'm a guy, so it's like the Apple Store, I think, is, you know, I'm there when every new thing releases, whether I need it or not. And I, for some odd reason, just need to be the first to have it. Um, and I've got all of it. So I, I am actually selling old Apple things, if anybody's <laughs> interested.